work. Greenlee knows I'm a cop. Not if you lost your badge. You wouldn't. If I. The hell I am. No, this is it. This could work. Natalia, you could pull this off better as an ex-cop. I'm still a cop. We gotta figure out a way to make this public. And ruin my career before it even gets started? This, this is temporary. All right, we'll just figure out that you broke procedure. Not that far off. Well, given your history with going rogue, it won't be that hard to believe. Now, we, can even, we can even use the time you went after Kendall Slater and Aiden DeVille. That was months ago. I'm going to start the paperwork. No, no, look, I'm not going to do this. I won't. Hey, Ryan. Hey. I know you're busy, but I need to warn you about something. About Madison. Sounds serious. It is. Look, Madison's not who you think, so just be careful. Okay, um, I mean, I'm out of fusion, right? So this is about no, two categories. No, this is not about fusion. I'm serious. Madison is bad news. I'm gonna need a lawyer. Again? Forget it. Okay, no, wait, hold on. Sorry. <clears throat> what is it? What, what's going on? You'll keep this between us, right? A dollar. It'll buy you confidentiality. What can I get if Adam leaves me? Oh, don't tell me the romance of the century is on the rocks. Are you going to listen to me or not? Oh, what kind of hope does that give the rest of us now? Yep. What was I thinking? Asking you, of all people, for help. Never mind. Oh, please. Come on, come on, come on. We were just getting started. I saved his life. I saved his son's life. And what do I get for it? I get nothing. I get treated like something you scrape off the bottom of your shoe. Not because of her. Her? Maybe you never even loved me to begin with. Okay, well, slow down. Back up. Who's her? Maybe it's been Brooke all along. <laughs> Brooke English? It's not funny. Uh, no, Definitely not funny, you know, because uh, we're talking about history here with a capital H. What's your hurry? Sit back down. David won't leave town. Well, I don't care whether he leaves town. I don't care where he goes as long as he's not here. JR's coming home tomorrow. I don't want Hayward lurking about the tunnels. <laughs> well, come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm back. Where's my welcome home, Hog? What are you thinking? Bringing him in here like this? I had no choice. Come on, Adam. I make a great ruby, admit it. The cops tried to lure him out by arresting me. I had to be a little smarter. I hope you appreciate her. You have no idea. Take good care of him, Adam. Actually, we're going to take good care of each other, aren't we? Sorry, Edward. You're still out. Court case is big, and you'll be right there in the middle. This is our best shot. Greenlee knows where the man is. If you crack this one, it will make all the papers. Uh, undercover work is the toughest gig a cop can get. Big risk, big reward. If it's so big, then why don't you do it? Look. Greenlee knows where Hayward is. Greenlee runs Fusion. Fusion is looking for female models. You fit the bill. Because I'm female. And you look like a model. When did we blast back into the 1950s? Seriously, you guys. You don't want me because I'm a good cop or because I'm smart. It's all about how I look in a tight dress and some makeup. Well, okay, next time we need an undercover homeless crackhead, you're it. I can't believe you're asking me to model. Modeling? Eh, not asking. Natalia, this is the fast track to becoming a detective. That's what you want, isn't it? You know it is. Well, then shut up. Get with the program. Results get promotions around here, kiddo. For real? Apparently so does humiliation. Okay. So, what is it that's so bad about Madison? Just things. Things that went down between her and my family. Well, I don't really plan on getting in the middle of personal It's not personal. So I just, I can't really talk about it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, do you know how this sounds from yes. my side? Yes, yes, I know. Just trust me. You're telling me how awful she is and that I should be careful, but you can't tell me why. 
Look, you cannot trust Madison. There's a lot more going on behind that hopeful smile. She has baggage. Oh, I, I know all about her past. Yeah, well, it's messed her up. Well, she's not the only person who had a dirt bag for a father. She is dangerous, Ryan, and I know it. Well, maybe you don't understand abuse, okay? I think survivors of abuse need understanding. They don't need suspicion. You think that I need to know about survival? I went from foster home to foster home to selling my body on the street for a pimp who beat me every day. Believe me, understanding is not going to cut it with Madison. Oh, I, uh... I'm, I'm sorry, I, I had no idea. Okay, but it's my philosophy that survivors need to stick together. That's how I feel. Now, don't worry about Madison, okay? Because I'm not. You aren't kicking David out, Adam. You made a deal. You're still a sick man. You're destined to have another heart episode. So what if JR is coming home? It's not like David's going to be sitting at the dinner table. Well, you wouldn't want me talking to your young wife about your condition, Adam. She doesn't know that your ticker can't handle a roll in the hay. Don't cross me, Hayward. Just give me what I want, and Annie never has to know. No, no, you, uh, you blew it when you uh, broke your promise. We had a deal, remember? Medical care for uh, shelter. And then you de demanded that I help you uh, keep your license. Not to mention getting the charges against me dropped. You're in it now, Adam. He goes down, so do you. Might want to watch that blood pressure, Chandler. Whatever it was worth is uh, not worth it anymore. Tick, tick, tick. No. My son is getting out tomorrow. He'll be here. I want you to walk out that door or I'll have the police do it for you. You'll be arrested for harboring a fugitive. Oh, we all know that will stick. Okay, fine. You're not worried about the police? What about Annie? You know, you've been helpful, Hayward, despite my contempt for you. That's why I'm not going to uh, report you to the authorities until sunrise. This conversation is over. We're not done. Ah, oh, good evening, Adam. Yeah. Special delivery? Oh, supplies for JR. Ah, uh, uh, well, uh... The tempo issue is coming along nicely, and the article on Haiti... Are you okay? You look distracted. Well, uh, a little. <laughs> I know this is uh, a bad time, but we need to talk. How about Annie? Hey, you know what? Try to keep the gloating to a minimum. Thank you. Listen, you are not the first of Adam's wives to seek divorce counsel. Oh. Colby's just gonna love this. Yeah, probably. If Adam and I break up, she's gonna throw a parade down Main Street. Okay, but well, that doesn't change our conversation. Oh, I outfit, Liza. You're Colby's mother. Not to mention, you were married to Adam once. Three times. You can believe that. Laughing all the way to the courthouse? Okay, you know what? You can think what you want. But, uh, you know you're not the only one who was kicked to the curb by a man. It's your lucky night, Mrs. Chandler. I think you found the one person that might actually listen to you. What to do. So it's that bad. You have no idea. Oh, I have more of an idea than you think. Brooke, he had an affair with her when we were married as well. What? Mm -hmm. I don't understand. What is so special about her? Oh, believe me, if I knew why men willingly asked their ex-wives to come live with them, I wouldn't be sitting at a bar by myself, that's for sure. I am his wife. And so was Brooke. He cheated on her, too. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. I feel like you're being paranoid. No, it feels like I'm running out of options. Well, listen, I practice a lot of family law, but when it comes to Adam Chandler, kind of my experience trumps it all. What should I do? You asking me as your lawyer or as his ex-wife? Both. Do it to him before he does it to you.